Hello, this is your average student with your first video on control system lectures. In this, I will teach you the fundamentals to mathematical modeling. Mathematical modeling helps us understand how systems behave and helps us make the right changes to the system in order to get the desired response. In this video, we will look into the real-life examples such as shock absorbers shown below. Now, what can we learn from shock absorbers? Having no shock absorber is very painful. Imagine driving on bad terrain with full of rocks. You will get the full force of the vibrations as it channels through the body of the vehicle onto the rider. Now imagine having a shock absorber. The chassis will now somewhat move in a straight line where the shock absorber should theoretically move in a wave-like pattern carrying and absorbing the vibrations of the road as the vehicle just drives by. This is a sense of what happens with the shock absorber but we can understand what is really happening by theoretically calculating the mathematics that goes into the absorber. Let us consider the free body diagram. Here we have the mass of the rider, the wheel attached to two very important components, damper and spring. I'm sure most of you know what a spring is, so I shall start with the damper. This is the natural look of a damper. It has air or oil inside a piston-like structure. The piston has openings for the fluid to switch between regions and due to the viscosity or nature of the damper, the fluid takes time to pass through hence creating a dampening effect. Therefore, it's a gradual movement. Now, let us take the mathematics that goes into the spring. As you can see, y is the displacement and k is the spring constant. A spring has a natural length and it will oppose the force applied to it and it's proportional to the displacement. What do I mean by this? If a spring has the specs of 10 newtons per millimeter, that means for every 1 millimeter, you need 10 newtons of force, stretch or squeeze. Now let's take the damper. B is the damping coefficient. Y dot is the speed opposing and it's proportional to force, which is very much similar to the spring's opposing force proportional to displacement. This is interesting and this is what makes up the shock absorber. Damping plus spring equals shock absorber. And if we didn't have these in everyday vehicles, we will not have a comfortable ride. You can experience this in my home country, Sri Lanka, when riding a bull chariot. As you can see, this is a graph of the shock absorber when the system goes from its natural level to the settling state as the rider sits. Now the input here is the force Ft. Output is a deflection of the seat Yt. If we take F equals ma downward being positive then we can form an equation that governs this system. We isolate the highest derivatives and what we get is a second order model and by components is the output here or another word is response. The Ft function is the input which usually goes in the right hand side and this equation is known as the system model. Okay, let's summarize shall we? We had the plant shock absorber, then you draw the free body diagram analyze the system, identify the components, include the components into an equation by considering sign conventions, in this case positive down, find the system equations, which in this case we have two, first one is the basic known as the laws of motion, we have the second order equation system model, which is, co which is called the se second order because the highest derivative is y double t, double dot sorry. This summary is good to know to help you generalize this approach to any plant or model.
this is how you should study by not memorizing but understanding the approach in the next video we will go through a different plan and then move on to finding out the system response of that plan so i will see you then please do subscribe and support me in this channel